Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Thank you for watching. Uh, today, I just want to talk to you about a few things. And we just had the full moon. We've had several global events. And my deepest sincere wishes go out to everyone who's been suffering in places where there's things still um, coming up and the tragedies are still happening. It affects all of us. I feel it. I feel it right here in Chicago. Every place is having things. And there are reasons for it. There are deep reasons. These are some of the things I want to talk to you about in this video. Some of the reasons go way back in history. And we are getting it out believe it or not, rather than repeating history going forward. It doesn't look pretty. It really doesn't look pretty on the surface. And it's at the individual level. It's on the national level. It's on the international level. And dare I say, it is on the cosmic level. And that's on purpose to get this stuff out. So uh, some of the things I want to talk to you about as we go into the new moon here, we've gone through the full moon. This past weekend was a real doozy for some people, and yet not as bad as it kind of has been over the past couple of years, but still feeling like you're squeezing through, and you're coming out on the other side of something, and that something has finished, and you're right, something has finished, and you're closing the gate on it. We are also bringing in our essence from planetary places where we've been. This is particularly true of people that are Blu-rays and Illumined Twin Flames. So if you are an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame like me, I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame, or if you are an Illumined Orange or Illumined Gold, if you are Seraphim, you'll probably know this, but you're here to be new. Doesn't really look like it sometimes, but you are. So what is this? We are still seeing a lot of the shadow aspects of masculine energy, which is, I'm going to say, old masculine energies. Not men, not just men. That's stuff exhibited by females, too, of every sexual orientation. And these are the aspects, the shadow masculine aspects are still coming out from Mars, Jupiter, and Aldebaran, and some other places too. Antares, some of it Arcturus for some people, some of it Nibiru, uh, some of it places that you may not have heard about and maybe you don't care, and that's fine. You might say, what's the importance of it? The importance is just simply that you're bringing your essence here and, and things are clearing up for you. You're getting cleared. You're getting purged. The purging ain't pretty. It just ain't. Masculine people do seek. It's a misconception that men aren't doing something. I want to clear that up. Men are doing a lot. The old electric masculine has done a lot to uphold things so that everything doesn't fall apart, even though it might seem like it's falling apart. It's actually not. There is a distinct uh, transition and transit here taking place. Many times people don't have a context for what they're waking up into. And this requires you being patient for your twin. What is also happening is you're collapsing all possible timelines. And we are in this quick Scorpio energy right now. Now, the quick Scorpio energy can be really hot, hot-tempered, quick to react, overreact. But we're balancing that. We're purging out the negative aspects of it so that it is those quick, passionate kisses that you want. You want to kiss each other quickly, passionately sometimes. The passion is coming back in its proper and appropriate context. Not where you're using the extension of your heart, your hands to fight or to stab or to shoot or to kill or, or harm. And for many people, 
who've been abused, they may welcome it. You may have a twin with abuse issues who acts like they don't care if they get harmed at all. And yet, this is the energy that goes ahead and begins to remove it. It is. And all it requires you to do is not label them, not to stick them in a pigeonhole. All the little pegs are coming out of the holes where they didn't fit anymore. So you're collapsing all possible timelines. All I wrote down quick Scorpio energy be calmed with the water, the watery emotion. This is going to be stuff still from people's childhoods. Back to the sweetness of uh, the childhood that should have been. Those are the possible timelines that are being collapsed. Also a lot of emotion that was felt this past weekend. Suicidal emotion, depression, sadness. And this is what's wafting up and out of everyone's cells, ladies and gentlemen, whether they are fully awake and aware, whether they've heard the words twin flame, whether they have and they don't care anymore. And they've told you off and they just want to walk away. It's wafting out anyway. It's the end of controlling. This is also getting the hate and the blame out. Okay. And we see this sometimes. How could you have someone, for example, in a neighborhood dressed in street clothes and there's someone, stick them in a police officer's uniform and it completely changes the dynamic. And there are people that hate. They hate what's happened to them. They hate what's happened at the hands of uh, some authority figure in some other life or this life. They may blame that group call it a non-light entity but these are real people that are getting killed these are family members these are people that someone else may love and yet the hate and the blame is still coming out it's still coming out this is what it makes it so difficult with all of these uh, terrorist acts is that the terrorist groups will appeal to the psyche and use the ways of the mind to uh, control others, to brainwash them. And this is why it's so important to stay in the heart and not leave your twin bereft out there. There may be someone that belongs to you. If you haven't met them, if you're feeling them, love them. Love them and hug them and pull them to you. And you might say, I, I don't know how to do that. Well, I've been talking about it all along. And yes, I have several tutorials to help you with that. But a lot of this hate that's getting out is coming from the cosmic level. It's showing up in people's unions. They're finding that they're hating their twin. They might be feeling punished by their twin. And I had two um, really clear messages that I found. The first one was the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles exactly points to love and money it's love relationships and money relationships and balancing the two and for twin flames not having to decide between love and money the other one that i found this was really interesting the king of swords now the king of swords there's several things here and i want you to know this is exactly how I found him, with the bottom half cut off, with um, pretty much from the waist up, and you'll notice the sword is almost touching the crown there, the heart is open, and what is happening here is this is a lot of the fight or flight adjustments that are going on. It's leaving just simply surviving and not having to fight and feeling when it might be time to fly away. So this King of Swords energy is cutting to the truth. This is authority figures. Again, they hate. I hate the army. I hate the military. I hate the people. I hate this group. I hate that group. I hate women. I hate gays. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. And yet it's coming up and out. I hate authority figures. I hate my dad. I hate my mom. It's getting out. So this is um, cutting to the truth on authority figures. 
It has to do with the father energy, but the proper father energy. Old ways of parenting, it has to do with schools. It has to do with uh, especially male children and proper guidance for male children. This is also words that can cut. And this is many times how men and women retaliate against each other. These are old dynamics. We use sarcasm. We use cutting words. We say things. Sometimes parents, if there's a mom in a situation where she doesn't love her husband, she doesn't love the father of her child, she may take that out on her male children. That happens a lot. She may abuse that little boy in ways that are very cutting, but without actually hurting his physical body. And some people have twin flames who grew up in this type of atmosphere. We are concluding that way of growing up. We are shutting the door on it. So the King of Swords, along with the Scorpio energy of the fight or flight, these are hard decisions. This is about surviving on your own. Can you survive on your own or do you have to commit suicide? Can you live without a person that you perceive has been helping you? It could be in a marriage. It could be a roommate relationship. It could be someone that somebody sponged off of for years. It could be inappropriate ways that they've been making their money, for example. And so I wrote down some of the positive and negative aspects of this. So on the positive side, you have love. On the opposite uh, side, you have hate. Romance, negativity, romance, man or woman hating. You have um, courage or being discouraged. You have the ability to take actions or you have self-deprecating behavior. You have the ability on the positive side to close the door on the past and collapse all of your timelines. Really get it out of your systems. And I mean right out of your body. Those of you who study chakras or you study things, you study energies, you know that right along your solar plexus, these are connection points. You have connection points in your belly button, in your private parts, in your root. And it goes beyond that because twin flames, especially Blu-ray twin flames, usually were born with 20 chakras ready to go from the time that they were babies, not fully opened and expanded not connected with their twin flame. So this two of pentacles that comes up, you have the king energy of, you know, who are you going to be living with? Who are you going to stay with for love or for money? And you might say it's an either or choice. That's dualistic. With your twin, you are now qualified to have everything, everything. Um, this negative energy is also connected to the colon and the sinus. There's a lot that needs to clear there for twins to properly connect with each other. And along with some of the other negative aspects here, deceit. How deeply have the sexes deceived each other? Why have they had to deceive each other? It does no good to analyze it or try to go down memory lane and go, Oh, yeah, well, this happened, that happened, and, oh, yeah, in the end, that person still poisoned me. Or the poison was in there from the time of a child until I finally got sick. And this happens. This is abandonment issues. So the two of pentacles, love and money, and this is going to be family patterns. It's going to be family attitudes towards money and being able to receive your full abundance. So let's just give you an example, okay? You have one family where the dad comes home and he says, I looked over the bills and the bills came. Who has been using the water? There's a water bill again. I, I can't stand it. I can't breathe. I just, ugh, gosh, you people just, you just don't let me breathe. 
and he feels disconnected from his own family. He may feel that they're taking advantage of him, that all he is is a guy that pays the bills, that he shows up, there's no one to appreciate him. Until little by little, any little thing is a trigger point. And the other person in the household is saying, uh, well, we do use the water. You take a shower when you wake up every day. Yes, but I just don't understand it. It's like everything just piles up and doesn't let me breathe. And it's a feeling. It's an emotion. It is a negative emotion for sure. And now he feels like a petty dictator in his own house to everybody that lives there. And she's walking on eggshells and the kids are walking on eggshells and he can't understand. He doesn't feel loved or anything. And this is what a lot of the masculine, this is some of what the masculine is going through. And some of the negative self-talk, because when his pendulum starts to swing the other way, then he'll do the self-deprecating thing where he says, God, I'm a jerk. Why am I always do this? Why do I feel so awful? My gut hurts. Now I've got a stomach ache. And now, I don't know, everybody hates me. My son cringes when he sees me. I don't know. I don't know. And he forgot that his dad used to be even more abusive. All he is is upset over some bills. But it's escalated and it's blown up here. And this is the energy that, you know, people will feel like checking out. People will feel like um, hating their situations. And if he has a twin somewhere, if he's not with his twin, you better believe that twin flame is feeling this roller coaster of emotions up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, let's um, go back here to, you know, getting some of this stuff out. Who are we blaming? But these energies are literally just purging things out. People are getting things out with illnesses, with stomach upsets, especially with the gut. You might go between diarrhea and constipation that ain't pretty to say ladies and gentlemen but that is to let you know that you're not crazy that some of the things that your body is doing to get it out let it go that's how we let it go that's how we let it go so some of this other stuff you know he's afraid that he'll be abandoned he's afraid that he'll have to take care of the kids himself or go get groceries, or go do some of the other things that, on top of everything else that's overwhelming him. And he's not doing the one thing that he should do, which is to pause a moment to catch his reactions. And it could be her as well. She doesn't have to react. She can pause, and she can take the kids and say, you know what? We need to give dad a minute here. Dad is, you know, and if you're living with your true love, your twin flame, pay attention to the volatility of emotions. I don't, I don't want it to be volatile for you, but there are things to do that you have to catch. You have to catch yourself. It's incumbent on everyone to catch themselves, not to blame or point fingers. So some of this other stuff, what happens if she herself has had a bad day? She's going to start the Cold War. Yes, she is. She's starting the Cold War, and she's going to say, I'm, and this is, this is one of the other symbols I got, the spider. The spider is the weaver and the creator, but the spider also lies in wait and will sometimes say, I'm going to wait until he is his most vulnerable and then I'll spring something on him. And he'll get all riled up again and I'll just quietly walk away. And she has every intention, although she, it's not even a thought. It's so much a habit because that's the family she grew up in. She's like, I'm going to wait until such and such time when he's resting and I'm going to say, and by the way, the washer's broke and we need $500 to get a new washer. And he's going to go, what? What? How can you talk this way to me? 
I do everything I can. That's it. I, I'm going to walk. And there's a cold war going on in that house. It's gone hot and it's gone cold and it's going to heat up again. And this is one of the things you have that is going on. Neither one of them remembered any of their best positive aspects. So I want to open your eyes, ladies and gentlemen, to pay attention to this energy. Use it wisely. If you don't know what to do, one of my webinars from October, New Lives, New Timelines, because you're in new times now. I have several things in there to help you clear your solar plexus and get these energies on the move because this is where they're held. Right here where people shove down the argument, shove down the fight. It's not going to stay shoved down anymore. So some of the other things that are going on, this is especially going to be true for blue and blue golden people. If you know that you're, or even feel like you're blue, you probably are. If you are blue golden, you're here from the new earth and you're here to pave the way on some of this stuff. So we have another couple here. And this couple, she wanted to surprise him. Okay, she's got a little surprise and he comes home. And she's like, da, 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 da. he's like, hi, woo, am I glad to be home? And she says, I got you, soccer dog. I thought we'd lo watch this together. And he goes in his head right away because she hasn't given enough, enough time to decompress from his day. And he didn't take some time to decompress. And he's like, saying inside him now she's got something else and i don't know what and she's over here saying i want to see if he cracks an emotion he has been coming home and being so distant and i've got to crack through i want to know what he's feeling i want to know that he can feel again he hasn't been affectionate to me i don't know what's happening i'll just provoke something out of him and so she's going to create a reaction. And it's no longer about this or what it is. Now it's between them about their stuff. Then they start to internalize it. And he says to her, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. And she's saying, I keep trying my best. And she says to him, I don't know what it's going to take. And he's like, look, I didn't come home to fight with you. And she's saying inside, no matter what I do, nothing is ever right. Nothing is ever right for you. It's never, ever right. And he's like, I didn't ask you to do any of this. Jeez. He's like, doesn't she even know I, those aren't the kind of films that I like? I, all I wanted to see was an emotion. And they're like on two different pages already. What have they not taken the time to do? She did not pause and feel him feel his emotional state of being she didn't take the time to feel his emo and he didn't stop to feel hers these two care about each other deeply they love each other they don't really want to fight they're just flopping into old patterns she's trying to create something instead of feeling or provoke something really if you try to get a reaction out of your twin, if you're doing any of the negative aspects of this, if you are becoming retaliatory, vengeful, deceitful, provocative, catch yourself because this is, this is the energies where all of these shadowy aspects of this planetary energy, this planet, Mars, Jupiter, Aldebaran, and you are not going to be allowed to use your quick Scorpio or dragon energy to um, do negative things. You are going to use your quick hot Scorpio energy for passionate kisses. I'll tell you another mistake here. These two love each other. You know what they did? They opened their mouths. You know what the mouth is for? It's for kissing. They forgot that. I'm here to remind you that you're coming into the kissing part. When you're with your twin, 
kiss each other, kiss and make up, kiss and make up. Even if it seems like you can't, your twin is the only person in the entire universe that you have a positive influence on, on the inside. Do not fall into a list of their negative behaviors. If you're feeling suicide and you know it's not yours and you're white knuckling through it, and you're like, I got to get through this night. I got to get through this night. That's probably your twins. It doesn't mean they're going to kill themselves. It means it's coming up and out. So when it comes to love and money, okay, I'm using examples of couples that are together. Let's say you have someone who's met their twin, okay, and he's her twin and she's with this guy, okay, and right now this is not a love triangle. This is not a love triangle. We're not doing, twin flames are not doing love triangles anymore. We are not allowing our energies to be triangulated. That's why you're clearing your solar plexus out. Because that's where the other person's energies will attach. It's going to attach right to her spleen. And he's the one providing it. Okay? And no, this is, this is no more love triangles anymore. This is one in one, each with the right vibration, each with the harmonic match. There will be harmony and there will be peace in the land. So what is hanging up this? It is love and money. She may be saying to him, I love you. But what she may really be saying is, I'm afraid to leave because I'm going to have to tear down my life and I'm a very afraid about money. The fear is overwhelming. And more and more, this person's energies are going to keep drifting away. That's an on purpose thing. The rest of it is the head. So these two are connected at the heart, but this guy's connected to her head. Okay? And. You can see nothing else is connected. There's nothing else connected there. And, you know, for him, he may have his own mental rationalizations of staying in something. If it is a false situation, he's going to be digging on this guy's energy, and that's what he's living off of. That's essentially a false uh, twin or a false energy. Or he may be a mental, emotional false twin where he says, we get along about this, we get along about that. There are truths to that. People get along with their soulmates. We've had lives in karma, lifetime after lifetime of getting along with our soulmates. It's been an on-purpose thing to get along with our soulmates, get along with the other boys and girls on the playground. So... Um, just a couple of things to wrap up here because these energies may bring out weird things in people. People may behave weird. Your family may behave weird. Your, uh, your twin may behave weird. You may pick up weird stuff from them. This is some of the more on the um, negative side, hate, suicide, blame. But this that's how that's what's going on out there, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you have a twin who has been abused, if your twin has been abused, if your twin is uh, a, has addictive things in their life, going on in their life, whether they uh, have addictions or metabolic issues or things that are of the mind, mental, emotional disorders that are perceived, or even if they've been diagnosed. And again, I'm going to tell you, don't stick your twin back in that, you know, your twin isn't around a square peg to fit in a round hole. All, everything's coming out of the little holes that we've been in. It's not going to stick. It's not valid. It's like saying that you are. So, um, what I would say to you is that how you help each other, it is through the heart. I have two actually three 
My October New Lives New Timelines for helping you to clear the solar plexus. This is starting to get things cleared from here and bring up to the heart. I have several exercises in that. Very reasonable. Also, very good for mental, emotional, and we are detaching the ego mind to the collect from the collective. We are detaching. You're here to anchor your 5D union. You're not here to bring all of the collective up. That's just not possible yet. That is what we are closing the door on. And we are coming up to it in August. We're coming up to several other events. And I'm just going to say something here. A lot of people say, well, you know, these events, you know, people talk about it. And yeah, these are these are like markers on a road. Or if you're going in a boat or if you're going on a, uh, you know, on a road trip, these are markers, okay? Some people veer off and get off at the exit and they might camp out somewhere. Other people keep on going with it. And it is very subjective. Um, it requires you to quantum jump. It um, There's a way to zip line through things. I talk about that in this webinar. How do you get through all of these portal energies and the things that people are talking about? And people that are with their twin flames don't hang around on the internet. Most of them don't hang around. And, you know, few people will come back and say, hey, you know, we're together and let people know to give other people hope. For the most part, they are adjusting with each other. They are getting reacquainted and they need all of themselves and they can't go delve um, into other aspects until they're really good with each other. So don't assume that you know everything because none of us really do. Okay, I present the message and I am presenting the body connections with the twin. I happen to get a lot of information, but there's a lot of people with, with similar or even different information. I have a distinct, strong core body of work about the connections of the new light body with your twin. And the whole point is to make it easier, make it easy to release, be comfortable with yourself, be confident, and be with your twin. That's what I, that's what I want to see. That's what I want. So I teach that. That's what I teach. If you are a Blu-ray twin flame, my November... Divine Lovers Cosmic Body Reconnection webinar, extremely helpful for all of this cosmic level stuff to help your cosmic body and your, and your chakras. So that being said, um, I have a live webinar that I started on Wednesday nights. The next segment, uh, the most recent one was last night. The next segment uh, in that installment is next Wednesday. It's posted on my website. I also do one-on-one -on -one sessions and readings, as well as an entire array of webinars. And not everyone needs everything, okay? Some people choose to go back to the beginning on what I've done. If you've met your twin and we're in a certain patch of time, what I want to present to you are the things that are very helpful for you. This is what I get guidance on is that Right now, this one is helpful. Right now, that one is helpful. That helps you budget how much you can uh, maybe afford to invest in your own self, in your union. Make an investment. This is, this is stuff that you teach. This is stuff that you can watch 24-7 in your underwear, anywhere you have the um, device to. I do recommend a larger device because it is a visual and you'll have a better... Uh, um, you'll have a better experience of it. So that's about everything I've got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. And let me just say to absent friends, we miss you. We're catching up and we will see you. Thank you. Bye now.